I know that anytime you change your dose of your meds, you're gonna feel weird for a little while, and I just thought it would be cool to document it for you guys, um, because I've never been on Trintilex before. I've never lowered a dose of Trintilex before, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. So it's a mystery, and I know that Trintilex is a pretty new medication, so I'm not sure how many other people have experienced stuff either, so I thought it would be cool to share with you guys and then if you ever come off Trentalix yourself or lower your dose, you'll kind of know what happened to me. So this is going to be a really casual video today. As you can see, I'm just holding my camera up. Sorry if it's shaky and I apologize if there's the sound of my dishwasher or something in the background. I like always think that my video is quiet and then I listen back to it and I can hear stuff so I apologize for that. Basically, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update of how I'm feeling right now because it's been like a couple days since I've changed up my dose of my meds. So let me think here. I I saw my doctor on Thursday and so Thursday night was the night that at dinner instead of taking 15 milligrams I took 10. Um, and today's Saturday so it's been a few days. And so yesterday, which was Friday, was the first like full day of being on the new dose. I definitely noticed a few things, um, not huge things, but I definitely felt off and like, I definitely felt not quite myself. And so a couple of the things that happened. So I had a little bit of a headache throughout the day. Um, it wasn't like a terrible headache, but it was just there and it was kind of in this part of my head. Um, and it was kind of more annoying than anything, but when I went to sleep last night, it actually was really hurting. Um, and I definitely feel like that's to do with the, the meds because it, it just felt like it was. I don't really know how to describe it, but it felt like it was like dose change induced. Um, so that wasn't great. Another really weird thing that happened, um, was I was watching YouTube videos yesterday, um, and you know how, like, your eyes focus. So if you're looking at something up close, your eyes will, like, focus to it, and then if you're looking at something in the distance, your eyes focus differently so that that's in focus, basically. Um... My eyes were doing weird things, so like, I was watching a YouTube video, and it was like my eyes were trying to like, focus weird, like they were, it was almost as though they were like, focusing and unfocusing, so the picture was kind of going like, like this, kind of? Like, I don't even know if that's what happened, like, that's just the best way that I can describe it, is that my eyes were focusing weird, but I don't even know if that's what was going on. All I know is that I was watching this YouTube video, and my eyes were kind of doing something weird. I don't really even know how to describe it. It was just like, I could tell my eyes were wrong. Like they weren't focusing or they weren't, it was like the picture was kind of moving. Um, so I ended up, I like paused my video and I like looked out my sliding door and kind of like tried to focus on the distant trees and see if that would come fix it and see if my eyes were fixed and then I kind of just looked at a few different things around my house um, to kind of just see if my eyes would get better and I was getting like kind of anxious about it because like that's a weird thing like clearly that's like my brain doing something weird. So I started getting like a little bit anxious about it um, and I think that was kind of like making it worse so I ended up just I went back and started watching my YouTube videos again and I kind of just forgot about it and my eyes just went back to normal and it was fine. So it wasn't like a huge deal. It didn't last for a really long time but it was definitely like one of those like weird things that I noticed where I was like huh that's kind of strange. Okay. Another thing is just like feeling really tired and kind of lethargic and I don't have a ton of energy. So for instance, um, I was sleeping last night and then my cat threw up on our bed at like 6 a.m. this morning and I woke up and I just felt so horrible. Like, you know when you get woken up suddenly and you're still so tired and you haven't had enough sleep and you feel kind of like sick? 
it was like that but really intense like I was just so not feeling good so we ended up having to get up and change the sheets on our bed and throw them in the washing machine and all that kind of thing and then I went back to sleep and I didn't wake up until about 1 30 uh, p.m. so um, definitely feeling super super tired um, and yeah and I still feel really lethargic and like I don't have a ton of energy today um, and like I said today's Saturday so it's been a couple of days not super long I changed the dose Thursday night so I've only really been experiencing stuff yesterday and then today so far my anxiety is okay so far my depression's okay I haven't had any angry outbursts but I have been a little bit irritable like for sure yesterday I had some moments where I was irritable and like I just kind of was needing to just go be alone and just read a book in bed like I just felt really exhausted and just kind of like emotionally exhausted especially because yesterday we went to Walmart which is like my least favorite place in the world um, to go grab some groceries and I had to mail an art order at Shoppers Drug Mart and um, I had to go to PetSmart to buy cat stuff for my kittens and like I had never been in that store before so I couldn't find anything and it was huge and then the woman at the front desk like couldn't find my card to get money off so oh my god it was stupid so I kind of was already feeling really emotionally exhausted from doing those things and I actually made my husband go with me to Walmart and all those places because I was feeling really weird like my head was feeling weird and so I didn't want to go to those places alone just in case I felt sick or something happened while I was there like I needed to be able to have somebody there with me so I took him with me so that was good um, but yeah my head was feeling weird it was like um, almost like it was short circuiting kind of it was weird kind of okay here's a good way to describe it you know how sometimes you just have these weird like ugh, like shivers like suddenly you just have like a Ugh. shiver <laughs> I'm being weird um it was like that but in my brain <laughs> like I don't really know how to describe it brain shivers like I don't know how to describe that it was almost like my brain just kind of like short-circuited like my brain just went like Ugh. um but I kept doing it over and over again and it wasn't brain zaps like I know people talk about brain zaps when you're like coming off antidepressants and I've had brain zaps before and that wasn't really what it was these were like milder than that but still really weird like brain shivers that's the best way that I can describe it um I don't really know how else to describe it and I know that sounds like really weird but it's kind of like that like my brain would just kind of short circuit for a second and then kind of reboot and go back to whatever and I actually was like kept forgetting stuff yesterday like I made dinner and then I put put a plate on the hot burner that was still hot like it was off but it was still hot from having a pot on it earlier my husband was like you put a plate on this like hot burner and I had no idea I absolutely like didn't realize and I'm usually really careful about stuff like that so just lots of little things and like I forgot my keys at home when we left to go to Walmart and just tiny things I was forgetting and my brain was just like not fully functioning my brain just was not cooperating very well at all so yeah and having weird brain shivers so there's that brain shivers eyes doing weird things feeling a little irritable feeling super tired um, my motivation is down the crap hole like I don't even you don't want to see my house right now I there's a reason I'm like filming on my couch with just my gray wall behind me because it's like the cleanest part of my house I swear um, I would show you but it's embarrassing and yeah I still have wedding stuff everywhere from our wedding which was July 2nd and today is like the 30th um, and I still haven't organized it because part of the problem is that I have to I have to take pictures of everything and then put it up like advertise to sell it or donate it or something because it's stuff that I can't keep, like um, wedding decorations and stuff that I'm never going to use again. I figured someone else might use them for their wedding because I spent so many hours hand making everything and so I figure I might as well save someone else the trouble and they can have lovely handmade decorations and um, who knows, maybe I'll get a few bucks for them, I don't know. 
So that's my plan anyway, is to take pictures of stuff and advertise them, but because that takes time and effort and I've been feeling absolutely lethargic and having weird brain shivers all the time, I haven't done that yet and am a lazy butt. I haven't done that, so it's just laying around on my in my house, um, stressing me out, basically. Because mess really stresses me out, you guys. Oh my god. I. I need to be neat and tidy, I need things to be super organized because then it, it kind of like decreases the chaos in my head. Um, but right now, oh man, right now it is not clean and organized. So maybe that's what I'll do today. I woke up this morning thinking my husband was home and he wasn't. He's taken the car and gone for a games day at his friend's house. So. Um, I'm here alone, just chilling out on my couch, having weird brain shivers, and uh, feeling uncomfortable about the mess in my house, and I did put um, the washing machine on, so good for me, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, because like, I, I know that anytime you change your dose of your meds, you're gonna feel weird for a little while, and I just thought it would be cool to document it for you guys, um, because I've never been on Trintilex before. I've never lowered a dose of Trintilex before, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. So it's a mystery, and I know that Trintilex is a pretty new medication, so I'm not sure how many other people have experienced stuff either. So I thought it would be cool to share with you guys, and then if you ever come off Trintilex yourself or lower your dose, you'll kind of know what happened to me. Although, that being said, everybody is so individual. What happens to me could be totally different for you. You might lower your dose and have absolutely no side effects, or you might lower your dose and have completely different side effects than me. So, I mean, it's just, it's kind of useful just because you can see what it's like, kind of, but it's so individual, it's going to be different for everybody. So don't, don't worry that if you come off of it, you're going to have weird brain shivers and like eye stuff because that's just what happened to me. So who knows? Um, but you know, solidarity and all, so I thought I'd share it with you guys and we could commiserate together about feeling weird on antidepressants. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe I'll ask my sisters if they want to hang out or go, go for a little walk. I think um, it's a really beautiful day out today. I think maybe getting out of the house and going for a walk would be really good for me. But I also don't want to go too far, so maybe I'll just go somewhere local and um, just chill out a little bit and maybe I'll even bring you guys with me. I generally don't do like traditional vlog type things where they're really casual, but maybe I should. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Let me know if you'd be interested in stuff like that or kind of like me taking you with me on my day. Um, I can absolutely do that, but just let me know. Um, this vlog is probably super long. I'm sorry guys. This is the problem when I sit down and just casually chat is I can talk for hours. So I'll probably have to edit some of it out. But um, anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I have been really happy recently with the um, response I've been getting to my videos. It's just warming my heart, you guys. I made this channel because I wanted to put it out there that people aren't alone and that you're not the only one who's suffering through this kind of thing and I told my husband um, when I started it I said if I can even just make one person feel a little better about their situation or make one person feel slightly less alone then I will have succeeded like that's my goal I didn't set out to make this channel to have millions of subscribers I didn't set out to do anything other than maybe make a couple of people feel a little bit better and less alone and I've been getting some great comments from you guys and people sending me private messages about how much my videos have been helping them and that makes me so happy you guys have no idea so thank you for watching and you know I'm gonna keep making these videos as long as I'm able to and as often as I'm able to and I really hope that they help and again, if you guys have any specific things that you're interested in me talking about, like if there's specific things that are bothering you in your life and you want me to make a video on that, let me know. And if I have any experience with it, I will absolutely make a video on it and try and share my own 
you know, experience and advice and what I've gone through, if it helps you. So let me know. And yeah, and I will keep you guys updated on how I feel today. It is currently only 2.30 on Saturday, so I still have a ways to go. I'm thinking it's going to be a few weeks of weird side effects. So I will keep you guys posted. And if I have any other weird things happen, I will let you know. So far, my eyes seem good. And... My brain is shiverless, so I think we're good. I'm gonna just chill for a little bit, and then, yeah, I'll see you guys later.